Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I'm here to share a weekly spread in my memory planner and I am using the January Slow Days uh, mini kit and digitals from Citrus Twist Kits. Uh, this kit kind of worked out perfectly for this week in my memory planner because this was the second week of January and it's kind of when things slow down so we were kind of home and not doing a lot of things um, so I really liked this kit with this week and so I'm going to start out here with some of the digitals um, I usually have a format or formula if you want to call it um, for my memory planner uh, spreads where I start out always with my date um, I like to get the dates on there just so I know I have the numbers correct um, and have those in place. And the little days of the week that you see here, um, those are not a part of the digitals, but I actually sampled some colors um, from the digitals in Adobe Illustrator. And then I just used a font that I have to type up those days of the week. Um, obviously, it has the days of the week on my page here. Um, but I like to make them a little more decorative, so I thought this would be a fun way to do that. Um, that font, I think, is called Hello Sunday that I used. Um, so that way, sampling the colors from the digital, it already matches um, what's in the digitals here and in the kit. So I'm just going to get all of these cut out, and I think I sized these um, probably just a little smaller than two inches wide because each of these um, vertical columns are two inches and then it's probably about 0.35 um, so I'm going to go ahead and get those all in place now and I just use my tape runner um, and add a little bit of adhesive um, behind those and uh, you'll notice that most of the times the memory planners start on Monday and I don't mind that for my memory planner if it's for like my functional planner um, where I'm planning out assignments and appointments and things like that. I actually like to have the week start on Sunday um, but for these I do not mind the week starting on Monday so I do keep that same format here um, when I put my days of the week. And so I am adding my dates and I didn't realize that I didn't have the camera recording when I first started, um, but I did go back and start it. So you could see just adding these here. And this is a stamp set um, from Citrus Twist Kits. And I cannot remember the name of it off of the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's still available in the CTK shop. And so I will link that um, below. So now my next step is getting the photos. And I just print all of my photos um, out of Adobe Illustrator. Um, I just kind of go in and if it's like a prominent photo that I want to feature, I'll usually make it a little bit bigger. And then if it's something like these I'm cutting here, I'll make a little smaller. Um, most of these are two inches or smaller. So I get all of those cut and then I kind of start placing them and getting an idea um, of where I want them to go and also kind of building in um, some of the embellishments and I usually like to keep things pretty flat so most of my embellishing on a memory planner um, spread will include like die cuts um, these die cuts are from the kit also stickers and also stamping so I did print some of the digital papers also from the slow days kit and I'm going to kind of use those to bring in some color um, and just fill in some of the columns here and so I really wanted to feature this book because I've been waiting um, for however long it's been since the first one came out <laughs> to read the second one. Um, so I cut that paper to fill in um, the column there a little bit more so it would kind of peek out around um, the top and bottom of my photo. And I also had these little reading embellishments in the die cuts this month, which I like I said were perfect match for this week. Um, so I used the little card that said currently reading and cut that down, tucked it in the top and then used the books also. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my other photos in place here. Um, sometimes I will do like a interactive type thing and you'll see that in a minute. Um, if I'm not doing something interactive with the photos, I will go ahead and get those in place. If I am going to do something interactive, I'll kind of get everything else in place and then figure out um, what I want to do to create that interactive element. Um, so that little pocket right there, well, it's not a pocket yet, but that little card um, was one of the journaling cards from the digitals that I sized down a little bit. And I will be using that in just a second um, to actually create a little pocket. And so you'll notice on this, um, this layout, um, this is a 
Coco Daisy Daisy Planner insert. Um, that's what I'm using for my memory planner this year. So you do have the vertical columns for the Monday through Friday, and then your Saturday and Sunday are more horizontal. Um, so I am going to use some um, photos at the bottom that are vertical photos, um, but I will fill in that extra space with um, some die cut pieces, uh, stamping, and things like that. So now I'm going to create that little pocket and I am just using some copy paper that I use to print out the kids like homeschool stuff. Um, just regular old like copy paper that you use in an office. And you can see that I marked it kind of um, with my nails so I could cut it. And I want to create like a little fold here to go behind this journaling card. And that will give me a spot to tuck in some photos. Um, these photos were kind of weird um, colors and lighting, so I didn't want them to necessarily like be featured on the outside of the layout, but I wanted to include them. Um, so this little pocket is a great way to have these here, um, but have them tucked away uh, so they're not, you know, like just like front and center. So I put some adhesive on the back of those little folds, and then I'm just going to cut it down where it overlapped at the top, and that you can see those will slide right in. And I liked that little time well spent because it kind of went along with um, doing my nails. Uh, this is a new Color Street um, nail strips that I've been getting and I'm really enjoying them. So I wanted to document that. Um, I got the monthly box and this was my first one. And so I decided to um, put some um, tags behind the photos uh, just to make them stick out of the pocket a little bit more so that you would know that something's there and you can grab them out. And I'm gonna put both of these on here and once I have those, I'm going to take them and stitch. So I just stitch that together and it creates a little flip up where I can go in and put my journaling also. And so now you can see that those stick out a little bit there from the pocket. I wanted to use these um, stickers. Uh, these are also part of the Slow Days kit and they're kind of like a typewriter font. So they're really cute um, and they kind of match my journaling because when I do my journaling, I always use like a typewriter style font. Um, so I wanted to use these and there's like a blue color and then this white color with the black letters and I really liked this one. So um, this photo didn't really need journaling. So I just used the um, little alpha stickers here um, to spell out daily chores. I feel like we are like constantly running our dishwasher. I'm sure most of you are the same. So <laughs> this was just a moment when I was emptying it and refilling it. So I just snapped a photo. And I also added um, the word errands on day uh, or on Thursday with those same little alpha stickers. And now I'm going in with some more embellishments. Um, these are some ephemera pieces that are part of the kit. And then I think these are also available digitally. Um, and I do have some digital ones mixed in here too. And I like the little word strips because you can cut those down. Um, I trimmed a little bit off of that one to fit. And then I actually wanted this one stacked together. Um, so I do cut this one in half and I'm going to put it right there with my grocery photos. It says um, it's possible my, let's see, my soulmate is carbs, which is funny since I was buying squash. <laughs> so I really love this stamp set also. Um, this is part of uh, the Slow Days release um, and it's got a lot of uh, good images on it. So I'm going to use a few. Um, the one that says on my list and then I'm also going to use um, let's see yeah this one it just has a little phrase on it and I use some of the um, distress oxide ink to stamp that kind of tried to pick a color um, that kind of matched that kind of light teal that's in the kit and so I liked the way that that looked and then I've got one more here that I'm going to stamp in black ink and this one just says the story of today. And I'm going to add a little bit of journaling to that once I get to my journaling that will be coming up here in just a second. And then I wanted to go in and add a few of these stickers that are also from the Slow Days mini kit. I always like my word phrase stickers. And a lot of you ask how I do my journaling. So I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I measure the spaces that I want my journaling to go in. And then I go into Adobe Illustrator and I click the box tool double click and then I put in those same measurements that I just measured um, off of my page. I already know the columns are two inches wide um, so I put in two inches for my width and then whatever I get for my height. And then once I do that I have the little box that kind of just shows what that same measurement is for that area 
and then I can go in and do my journaling. So um, I usually uh, size it to like 11 points. And like I said, I use a typewriter font. Um, the one that I use is either um, Anna's Jumpy Typewriter or Anna's Rusty Typewriter. And so once I have it all selected, then I can go in and um, just type up whatever journaling I want. And for um, printing my journaling, I use like a clear sticker paper. Um, and I've been using one um, that I got from Amazon. It is Avery um, Full Sheet Clear Labels. And I will link that below so you can check that out. It is really great for printing your journaling on. Um, and especially if you want like that um, see-through look behind it. Uh, so you can, you know, put it over, if you want to put it over a pattern, you can. Um, if you just want a background behind it, you can do that too. And then it will show through for your journaling without having... Um, you know, like the white box or anything around it like that. So once I have that done, I just print it out and now it is ready to go on. And you can see the paper here that I use. Um, it just has backing on it. And once I'm ready to put um, my journaling on, I will usually kind of fold it so that way I can keep it kind of straight. And you'll see that in just a second once I get it all trimmed out. And I like to use my little trimmer to do that just so I can kind of control how close I am to uh, where the text is. So you can see here how I pop it up and then just fold it. That way I can get it in place where I can make sure it's lined up before I pull the whole backing off. And then you can see how that's clear. It just goes right on to my insert page. And then right here I'm using it over pattern paper. Um, so you can see that you can use it behind either types of those. So I'll get all of these in place. And then I have this one little last one here um, on the back of this tag that I wanted to get in place and then tuck that back in there. And then I wanted to finish up uh, with the week here, um, that last column and go in and add January. I just cut this on my Cameo um, and I printed one of those other digital papers from the Slow Days kit and got that there in place. So that will finish up my spread. Like I said, I will link up all the products that I used in the description box. So make sure you check those out if you're interested in any of the ones I used. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to visit my channel, I would love for you to be a new subscriber. Thanks so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh -huh.